All right, so today we're going to review the Power Plus Logitech. It's the M525. The cool thing about this, it comes with the Logitech uh, Unified Receiver, which is this right here. So if you have one of these receivers um, and you have multiple computers, you can use this mouse. You don't have to bring the receiver with you. So that's one thing I like about Logitech, the fact that they make that. So I also have another uh, Logitech mouse here. This one is a desktop mouse, and this one right here is the M. 5 110 and again I, I love it too it feels balanced uh, you can see it's a little bit bigger um, once we put it together you'll see that uh, the desktop mouse is a little bit bigger than the uh, laptop mouse one of the things too that I like about these Logitech mice especially the laptop mice it's the battery life is very long even with not so good batteries uh, you get a really long battery life and unlike cheaper uh, mice like I have here, this gearhead, the buttons um, are already broken. Uh, the scroll wheel feels very tight. It's not that great. It's not smooth at all. So it just doesn't feel right in your hand. It's not balanced. And uh, I mean, you get what you pay for. With the Logitech mice, I find it that they balance very well, long battery life. The fact that you could take this mouse and just bring it to any computer that has a Logitech uh, receiver, unified receiver, and then you sync it up with software and you're good to go. It's great. Uh, it's got a nice scrolling wheel. The buttons feel uh, great and it's just balanced. I really like it. So we're going to go ahead and remove the plastic casing and figure out what this is all about. All right, so here we have the mouse. You can see it's uh, nice and small and this is perfect for any laptop carrying case. It's uh, small enough where you can carry this on the go. That's why it's a mobile uh, mouse. Uh, compared to a desktop one, this is the one that I use, the M5110. 525 is a little bit smaller than the 510. Not by much, but there is a difference. Uh, you can see how wide it is too. So the mobile um, laptop mouse here is less wider than the desktop. So when you bring this in a carrying case, it makes a difference because, you know, usually the carrying cases don't have much room. So you're better off with a mobile mouse like this than a desktop one. So the M525 from Logitech does come in a variety of colors. Um, I got this color red because it matches um, the laptop that I have here. So as far as heaviness, they weigh about the same. I mean, this 510 is a great mouse. It's nice and light for a desktop mouse, and that's why I have it for years. I haven't changed it. And this one is almost the same weight, um, but it's really, it just feels good in your hand. It's really nice and balanced. You can see the buttons feel good. The scroll wheel goes left to right, up and down, and again, it just feels really great in your hand. So you can see the difference on the 510. The battery and everything is down here, um, which is easy to get to. You can see it takes two batteries, actually. Um, and you can see where the receiver was. And um, again, it's at the bottom, it's traditional. With the Logitech uh, 525, it's a little bit different. Uh, you actually press this button here and then the top comes off. This is one of the things that I don't like about this mouse that much is, actually, there you go. So you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and press this. I'm gonna press it that way and it's gonna release the top here. There you go, and it just ejects the top. And we'll go ahead and remove the batteries. What do they give you for batteries? I'm wondering. Uh, they give you cheap batteries, okay. Here you can see the receiver and it's Logitech Unified Receiver, what they call it. So this receiver works with any of the mice that we have. Uh, as long as you have this receiver on a computer, any uh, compatible mouse will work with this. And that's one of the things that I like about the Logitech. So traditionally these mice are accessed from the bottom, but these 525s, are from the top. I don't know if that's Logitech's new design, but it's easy to go ahead and put it in there. So here we have a comparison of these mice um, that Logitech has throughout the years, as you can see, designed these and made these better. So here we have an older M3110, and then we have uh, somewhat newer, but uh, a reliable mouse that I use for the desktop, which is the M510. And then here we have the mouse that we're reviewing, which is the M525. So you can see over the years how Logitech has worked on these mice and has changed things. And they're really a reliable company when it comes to mice. This M310 is really basic, uh, doesn't do much, but it's reliable mouse, uh, it still works. And here we have the M510. So these uh, desktop mice have a little bit more features. 
uh, they can be a little bit bigger so this one has two buttons on the side where the mobile m525 doesn't have it but you can do pretty much everything with the scroll wheel and to be honest i rarely use these side buttons here so you're not really going to miss that and if you travel and you need to bring your mouse with you uh, from work to home this is something that's going to fit in your laptop like i said there's no side buttons um, it's just going to fit in there snug and it really works you're not really missing much with these side buttons here on the desktop version all right so i have my laptop here i'm going to show you how easy it is to install so here's the mouse and here's the unifying uh, driver or receiver and basically all it is is we're going to take this and we're going to go ahead and uh, install it here on the usb port and you heard the computer and that's basically it we have the mouse um, is on i believe let's see if it is on nope it's off we'll go ahead and turn it on and there you can see it's ready to go and like I was saying, um, you can also download the unifying driver, which they have. So there's the unifying uh, Logitech software. And then it tells you to go ahead and slide it back to on. You can see the screen changed. And now with this mouse, I can go ahead and move the cursor. 